Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's do this problem right here. The question is asking set up an integral for the volume of the solid obtained by rotating the region bounded by y is equal to cos x and y is equal to sin x going from 0 to x to 5 by 4. I mean, the x is going to be between 0 to 5 by 4, right? About the line y is equal to 1. And they are saying do not evaluate the integral. And let's see how we can do this. So, first of all, we have to draw the graph for this function so let's go ahead and draw that one first so first we have to draw the sine graph so let's go ahead and draw the sine graph first sine graphs looks like this right it goes like this and this start from 0 and this is going to be 5 by 2 and that's how it goes and at 5 by 2 is going to be 1 right here right and what happens cos x to cos x cos x start from 1 when cos x is equal to 0 it's 1 so it start from 1 and it goes like this so 0 to 1 and yeah it's going to go like this right so the region we are interested in is this region we know that uh, at 5 by 4 both of them are going to be same values so that's the region it's going to end at. So this is going to be where, where we, we are going to have 5 by 4. So this is 5 by 4. And the region we are interested in is this region. This region right here. Right? And they are saying this is rotating around y is equal to 1. So y is equal to 1 line is this. Right? So since, since this is rotating around parallel to x-axis, it's better to use Titian Bosch method because if I use cylindrical cell method, I have to write in terms of dy. We have everything in terms of x, so it's better to choose Titian Bosch method so I can write everything in terms of x. So in Titian Bosch, uh, Bosch method, we use uh, this equation to volume. V is equal to phi integral a to b radius out square minus radius in square here we are going to use dx since it's parallel to x-axis we are going to use dx so everything has to be in terms of x r out has to be in terms of x r in also has to be in terms of x so let's go ahead and find the outer radius and inner radius so let's see how we can find it so first of all how to find outer radius so to find the outer radius, the technique we use is when we have the rotating region, if we draw a line through the region, wherever the line touches last, that's going to be the outer radius in the shaded region. So here it touches this line, that is sin x, right? This function is y is equal to sin x. So it touches y is equal to sin x. So that's going to be the outer radius. And inner radius is going to be wherever it touches first, that's y is equal to cos x y is equal to cos x but the thing is we have to find the distance to find the distance what we do we take the top function and subtract from the bottom function so here the top function is y is equal to 1 so it's going to be phi outer radius is going to be integral going from 0 to 5 or 5 by 4 and this is 1 we know that it is starting from 1 rotating region 1 minus so it's top function minus bottom top is 1 bottom is sin x so 1 minus sin x square phi radius out square minus radius in square radius in is going to be cos x right so it's also starting from 1 so 1 minus 1 minus cos x square dx and this is going to be the expression so they are just asking to find this one. They are also in the question it is mentioned that do not evaluate the integral. So we just have to leave it like this. And that's how we do these kind of problems. I hope you guys find this video helpful. See you next time.